In this problem, we're given two points, and we have to find both the parametric equations of the line and the symmetric equations of the line. So the points are 0, 0, 25, and 10, 10, 0. So the formula for the parametric equations is x equals x sub 0 plus at, y equals y sub 0 plus bt, and z equals z sub 0 plus ct. And all of this, your x naught, y naught, z naught, that's a point, and your abc is a parallel vector. So the first thing we should do in this problem maybe is find a parallel vector. So to do that, you can just take these two points that are on your plane, on your line rather, and do the terminal minus initial formula. So just subtract the points. So we'll do 10 minus 0. That'll give us the first component. And the second component, again, will be 10 minus 0. And the third component would be 0 minus 25. So uh, just be careful when you're subtracting um, the components. This will be 10, 10, negative 25. So this is a vector that is parallel to our line. So this is parallel to line. And the reason we can do this is because we have two points on the line. And so to find uh, a vector on the line, you just uh, connect the points and make a vector. And so to find this vector, you would just subtract the points. So now we can plug everything in. Let's go ahead and use the first point as our x naught, y naught, z naught. It doesn't matter uh, which one you use. So x will be equal to uh, 0, so this goes away. And then this is our a, so 10t. This is our ABC. This is called our direction vector, and A, B, and C are called direction numbers. Y is equal to, again, Y naught is 0, and then B is 10, so 10T. Ten and then Z is equal to Z naught. Well, Z naught is 25, and then C is negative 25, so negative 25T. So these would be the parametric equations of our line. So as time passes, you can think of T as time. Uh, this will give you the x, y, z coordinate of, uh, of the line. So like if you were walking along a line in the space, uh, this would, would tell you where you are on the line as time passes. The formula for the symmetric equations is x minus x sub 0 over a equals y minus y sub 0 over b equals z minus z sub 0 over c. So just plugging everything in, our x naught and our y naught are 0, so we just get x over, and then a is 10. And then we get y minus uh, 0, so it'll be just y, and then b is also 10. And the last one is z minus z naught, which is 25. And c was uh, negative, negative 25. So now we have to look and see if it's one of our choices. Sometimes it's not, and that's because we have to do uh, a little bit of work to make it match the choices, unfortunately. So it kind of looks like the first one, but it's not. You see, there's there's not a negative 25 here, so that's not it. And so I don't know. I don't see our choice. So I think what we have to do is maybe manipulate this to make it look like some of these choices. I'm looking at this this one here, the fourth choice, and I think it's almost the same, if not the same. Notice if we multiply everything by 5, so put a 5 everywhere, we get x over 2 equals y over 2 equals z minus 25 over and then negative 5. And so, yep, that's the choice. So if you're wondering why this happens, it could be because uh, the homework system uh, maybe works out the problem a little bit differently. Um, keep in mind that this is a parallel vector, so if I wanted to, I could divide everything by 5, and I would get 2, 2, negative 5. 
And this is also a parallel vector. And that's probably what they did. And that's probably how they got this answer. So there's multiple answers. Uh, so when you do the symmetric equation part, you'll have to be a little bit careful and just try to make sure that your answer matches uh, one of theirs. I hope this video has been helpful.